What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here and welcome to Ninja Parkour. Now you guys know I've been trying out these parkour maps right recently. So I wanted to try this one out. I just was working on a ninja one last week. Uh, the ninjas in Zombie City. Now I want to work on this. This is my Everbloom. Ooh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to jump down like that. The more you know. Yeah, this is by Everbloom. These are really good studio. They make really good mods. Most of the time I like what they create. Let's collect this up. Ah, guidebook. Whoa. Oh, well, their map's pretty big. Read. Okay, so you've got a collection there. Okay, you can do your stamina. Complete. Gotcha. Okay, now we got climbing. Hold crouch next to a wall to climb it. Keep an eye on your stamina bar because that, alright. Wall sliding. Touch your wall. Touching your wall will slow your fall as you slide down. Oh! Well, interesting. In the direction you're facing. Okay. So from a dive, this will boost. Okay. The after landing from a dive in order to gain a little more distance. Holy moly, they got a whole little system here. Just jump in the air. I fall into from a dive. This will boost you. Direction. Rolling jump immediately after landing from a dive in order to gain a little more distance and height. Ooh, some of these some of these are complicated. Unlock by completing the cave left of the spawn. Did we get that? Okay. Aiming grappling hook. I don't throw the hook. Zip you towards it. Hold crouch to stop being pulled. Oof. Okay. Well, it says you have to complete a cave that's left of the spawn point, so I'm guessing that's what this is. Right, let's go. Let's do this. I should probably test out some of these. That's going to come in handy. I like parkour ones that don't leave you with the the bare minimum. You know, like, oh yeah, here's the normal controls. Good luck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sweet. I'm loving this. Okay, what do we got here? Flint. Paper. A stick. I don't know if, or if these are going to be used for anything or not. So we need to raw ride. And jump. Is that what it's basically saying? Okay, all right, I think I know what I gotta do. Oh, yes, I'm liking this. This is good parkour. This is good parkour. I'm liking this. They did this system very well. Yay! 
ninja parkour. See, I love Emblem. They put their I love how they put their titles into their maps. All right. I guess now we just explore around then. I guess the goal is just to find those hidden statues. I don't think we'll be fighting anything. Let's follow these things, see where it takes us. This is what I like. Don't just sit there and make a parkour map and go, okay, best of luck, figure it out. I'm like, okay, well, how am I going to be able to do this? Best of luck, figure it out. You can now get hints to find statue, and it's at the spawn point. Okay, that's cool. We can I can go back there if we ever get stuck. And we want to try to find all of them. Kind of want to explore everything. <laughs> Set my respawn point there, because that's not too far from spawn. I'm just going to keep following these lights. They got to lead us somewhere. How are we looking on the map? Looks like there's something here. There's one. Um. That's the one downside about that. You gotta remember to crouch after you miss. Okay. I love these mechanics, man. I wish I had that in vanilla of oh, Minecraft. Good God, that would make uh, getting around things so much easier. Okay, we did that. Now, which way are we going? Yeah, we're still heading in a good direction. I'm just gonna keep following these lights. Those might be different ones. 
Might be. It's a beautiful map as well. anything I had to fight, so... <laughs> so it looks like we'll just be collecting up those, which I'm okay with. It's cool just to explore. I'm still loving this parkour system. Oh, that's what that is on the map. Thing. I'm like, is that an arrow or something? No, it was a tree. Awesome. Okay. We gotta go around. I like that it's not frustrating any hard. Uh, I think so many developers make that wrong decision of, oh, let's just make it so mind-numbingly hard that they either don't beat it because they get too frustrated and storm off or they just never beat it <laughs> I played my fair share of those and they are not fun okay we're heading this way i'm gonna guess that all the highlighted little circle areas are areas that have something for sure then we can head back to the spawn point and get the hints for the rest of the uh, golden monkey thingies. Perfect. I'm actually happy we don't gotta fight anything. I kinda like the fact that it's just jumping puzzles. Okay, what's over there? I love the design of these houses. These are really nice. Oh, is there somebody in there? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, bother. One sec. Really got to take the time to turn those off. Yo, what's up? Can be still? Wanna say hello? I guess you can't trade or anything with them. Bedrooms. Kind of creepy. Service. Cre <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. 
It's kind of creepy, dude. Look at him. <laughs> it's also creepy that you can just walk into their house and sleep. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. Just a stranger walking into your house to sleep in one of your beds. Nice house you got here. That's video game logic for you. Okay, where are we? You know what? I better make sure I'm not missing like a golden monkey up there on the roof or something. Ah, there's one over there. I knew there was going to be one around. So far, I found one like in every single area that was lit up on the map, so. I figured there'd be one here too. Seven, not bad. Seeing that there's a bunch of tall, really, really tall um, cliffs and whatnot, I guarantee there's a couple monkeys up high. There's gotta be. I was really impressed by how they worked the uh, jumping in this. I've played tons of them that got this wrong, and they took really nice concepts and just ruined them with not making sure to set up the jumping mechanics properly. Okay, these are rice fields? Oh, wow. This is why I really like Everbloom Studios. They do go through the ringer to set up some really nice worlds. I want a nice custom textures on these villagers. Ooh, golden monkey. Monkey! Good amount in this first video. Yeah, see there's something up top there, and I can see a little path to get up there. All I must know is my character must be ripped to be able to climb straight up on raw strength.
will give us a good view of everything once we get up there. thing I wish I had was a glider. Oh look, there's like a little pool there. Uh, well, not a pool, but I forget what it's called. Yeah, definitely gonna go over there and check that out. Oh, got it. Please let there be an Electra in here. <laughs> Otherwise, the climb down will be interesting. Okay. Over oh, there's the rice fields. I believe we were there already. Wait, no, we're next to some rice fields. That's a bigger one over there. Another temple or whatever up there. I believe there's stuff up there. So we're going to have to climb each one of these big things too. Which I'm okay with. It's not, like I said, it's not frustrating or too hard. Please, there's got to be a glider of some sort up here. tables. Here's a bed. Oh man. Oh, I got that. I was hoping for something. Uh, I should have figured it wasn't there. Look, they even got like a nice little thing right here. Oh wait, no, there's a little bit of water right there. We can jump into that. Oh man, if I miss. If I miss. Don't laugh at me guys if I miss, okay? I'm trying my best here. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> That is very tight. <laughs> very tight jump. <laughs> very little room for error. But I love it. That was cool. That is cool. I am loving this map so far. It is 100% worth just running around and looking at it. And collecting up everything. Probably even better with friends. I wonder if there's anything in that cave right there. Let's head in there. We're getting about that close to time to end the video. But let's go there. See if there's anything in there. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, it's showing grappling hook. Oh, there's a button. Okay, that was a cool little puzzle there. I like that. Okay, wow, we've got 10 of the statues already. It's pretty cool. I like it because what's hard is not the puzzle itself, it's you gotta just make sure you're looking around so you can find everything. I like the leaves falling, that's another nice touch. I also gotta remember which ones I've climbed. That's pretty cool, I like this so far. 
it, and it's not you know I, I I was looking at it thinking that it was gonna be really fast paced but allowing you to be able to just take your time and enjoy everything I like that too some of the fast paced ones uh, they get a little like two tints because you, you're too busy running around you can't actually enjoy what they've prepared for you I think I was already here wasn't I yeah yeah we came this way so I need to go this way not that way yeah some of the fast paced ones it's like you can't really just sit back and enjoy what they've prepared you've got to rush through it and then it causes you to miss things, it causes you to make mistakes. Being able to just, you know, okay, I see what I need to do and give me the time to do it will allow me to actually enjoy the map. As you can see, since it's not fast paced, I can really take a look at all the work that went into crafting this place. I mean, they even put details every now and then with leaves falling. I think that's pretty cool. I like that they just didn't do the tried and true bunch of comp combat and to keep you you know occupied ah. true test is in figuring out where all these things are not so much whether or not you know you can get to them like, oh, no. if you can figure out where they are they're not crazy hard to get to I guess that just encourages you to explore the entire map which is a pretty smart way of making sure the person sees everything like in truth this is a destination style map with some cool parkour mixed into it oh okay this is this is the wall jumps that we did earlier oops I like that they're not hard to get to. You can get to them in a multitude of ways. Okay, so you guys. I'm going to call it right there. We're going to end the episode. Next episode, we're going to just keep on exploring. The cool thing about this map is there may not be any quests but it's fun just to walk around find these golden statues and see all the custom things they put in here i, I look forward to finding what else they put in this it's a cool very creative map and uh i love the design i love the look everything looks nice even to the custom textures they made for the villagers look really cool it really makes them fit into this world quite nice so definitely definitely enjoying this hands down this is worth it. If you want a parkour map that's not in your face and crazy intense and you want to sit back and actually enjoy it with some really good mechanics, I definitely would suggest checking this out. Remember, this was Ninja Parkours by Everbloom. It's up right now. Um, so definitely check it out. But I'll also have a couple more Let's Plays of this. I'm going to make sure I see everything before I stop the Let's Play series on this one for sure. But if you guys are liking these type of videos, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. You have no idea how much we need people to hit that button so the channel can keep growing. Also, make sure that you are paying attention to the fact that we are streaming now every Saturday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have to keep telling you guys that 
do not wait for the notifications because the notifications are coming late for a lot of people. A lot of people have been commenting and sending me messages saying, hey, I missed the stream, but the notification was late. I can't control that. I said it to notify you guys. It's just the notification system is legendarily late sometimes. So just remember that if you do want to catch those streams, just log on to the channel at 5 o'clock p.m., Eastern Standard Time, that's when we stream. And this week, we will be streaming Minecraft Dungeons. So if you like that game, you want to check it out, I do have the new DLC I'll be checking out too. So make sure to check us out there. But until next time, if there's any mods or maps or other games you feel we should cover on the channel, either in a review or a let's play or a live stream, let us know in the comment section down below or look us up on Instagram and Twitter. All right, guys. Average Arcader out.